What's up, y'all? Cynic Works here, aka Subject 18, back on Gamers Beverage. And guess what, y'all? We're gonna be doing stuff. Yeah, we're actually playing Borderlands 2. Cause like I told you, you know, I told you guys I was gonna be bringing more kind of gameplay. You know, cause I normally just do Assassin's Creed, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do some different things. Cause different is is good sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes different is bad. Different can be bad. So be careful when you try to be different, because most of the time, like say if you're in school, and you know everybody's, you know doing their own thing and you're like you know what i'm gonna be an individual i'm gonna be an individual i'm gonna be different you, that's when you get jumped you see that's an that's an instance where being different can be bad but in this case it's gonna be good because you know it's actually i'm trying to get a variety out here because playing different games is fun you don't just sit down and play the same game over and over again no you get something that's different so normally i just play assassin's creed all the time and you know stuff gets a little dull after i'm not saying assassin's creed is dull because it really isn't assassin's creed is amazing i'm saying that my commentaries get dull because i commentate on the same thing over and over so i figured why not do some borderlands 2 which is extraordinarily different not just from being different from assassin's creed but different all around because they got vomiting skag things they got flying a-holes that like try to charge at you they got a dude named handsome jack who's clearly a douchebag and you know we got Mordecai from the first Borderlands. So, you know it's just a lot of different things that are going on. We got some twig things with with sticks growing out of it. You know we got grass. Grass isn't really different, but you know it's different to see in space. So you know that that we there's that. We got the you know what the hell is this? This is a, a it doesn't even look like a sniper scope. It looks like a flashlight on top of a freaking a squirt gun. I just got a text message, but I don't feel like answering right now. So I'm gonna just shoot this green. What the hell is that? I'm gonna shoot whatever that is. I'm gonna take out. Okay, I'm gonna take out this. Uh, I'm guessing it's a rocket launcher. I just threw some blue Power Ranger thing at it, and now I'm gonna take out this this grenade launcher. What I'm guessing. Well, it's 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 a shotgun from what I'm being whispered to by my editor. Apparently, this is a shotgun. This is the most effed up shotgun I've ever seen. Apparently, it's like an electric buck or whatever it is, and that is a a vomiting exorcist skag. That is an exorcist monkey. I'm gonna call it a monkey, even though it's clearly some kind of dog-like creature. I'm still gonna call it a monkey. Why? Because I can. And I'm gonna shoot it with this, with this rally's gun, or, or, or this checker's gun, or whatever is, whatever is local to your residential area. Because apparently, it varies by by area whether or not it's a checker's or a rally's. I, I think I've been to one place where it had both, which is some kind of paradox that split the time-space continuum. I don't think you can have a checker's and rally's in the same neighborhood. If you do. You definitely have a ripped, and you definitely have a rip in the sp in the time space continuum. So make sure you only have one checkers or rallies. Do not have both, because that will be devastating. Because like, what if you go to one place and it's better than the other one? You know, it's just like a complete and total mind blow. But you know, instead of going off on a tangent about my time space continuum theories, we're gonna get back into Borderlands 2. And as you see, I got my computer screen on top of my gun there that little square it's a pretty cool little aim sight actually like i love how all the different guns in this game I i'm gonna talk about the game real quick instead of going off on a tangent like i usually do there's so many freaking guns in this game like i don't know how the staff actually sat down and say hey you know what? we're gonna make this gun and then you know, we're gonna give it a name because honestly I, I run out of ideas just doing papers in school i cannot imagine sitting here and saying okay we're gonna make like three thousand guns okay I'm only going to make 3,000 different guns. We're going to give them 3,000 different names. Okay, I have a hard time naming my fish, alright? I don't even have a fish. But I know if I got one, I would not be able to name it. So just for the fact that they can make all these different kind of guns, make them all different kind of gangster, and then gives them all different names, that is some creativity. So let's take a moment to applaud, you know, the the, the creators of all these guns. Let's, let's, let's take a moment to applaud the Borderlands 2, you know, development team. Y'all go ahead. Good job. You get you get a kudos. I can't really give you anything else, you know, because I'm not important enough to actually be acknowledged by the development team of Borderlands. But it's okay. The apparent I'm being told now that that what I what the weapon that has just been pulled out is a rocket launcher. Just, just for the record, y'all, I'm actually this is not my own gameplay. I said, hey, I talked to my editor. I was like, hey, I want to do some Borderlands 2 for Gamers Beverage, right? And he said, okay, dude, I've been playing. You know, I got me a level 22 tranquil sniper. I'll give you some gameplay. And I was like, dude, that's awesome. You'll do some gameplay, and I'll talk about it. What could possibly go wrong? Absolutely nothing, because if the video sucks, I know it's not my fault. <laughs> I mean, it could, at the end, be my fault, because my commentating sucks. But at the end of it, 
you know, at least there's the gameplay. You know, there's still that. Oh, and, you know, just going to throw it out here now. You know, I I'm believing that this rally gun or this checkers gun, whatever is, you know, around your location, is shooting Cheeto balls at... Explosive Cheeto balls at these dog-like snake creatures or whatever. What kind of aim sight was that? Like, if I could just aim... If I see another aim... In, like, that, that aim was just weird. And, and the exploding Cheetos just make it even weirder. And then, like, the spitting skank... What are they spitting at me, anyway? What? This one's on fire. Who set that thing on fire? Because, like, if I see... Actually, you know what? I was going to say... You know what? I actually agree with that. If I saw one of those things, I probably would try to set it on fire. I'm not going to lie. But that's not the outcome I would expect. I was going to think it would die. That thing's just like, dude, check it out. I'm on fire. Flame on. I'm going to kill shit. You know, that's one way to look at it. If you get on fire, if you haven't set yourself on fire or someone sets you, uh, or someone sets you on fire, don't be like, oh my god, I'm burning. Just be like, I totally prepared for this. Flame on. I'm going to walk with it. Try that. It might actually scare the living crap out of them. But until then, we're going to fight some skags. And we're going to fight some some people with guns. Speaking of which, have you all saw Resident Evil 6? Anybody? I know we're doing Borderlands, but I want to talk about Resident Evil 6 right quick. Because apparently zombies get AKs now. Which is a really stupid idea. You don't give a zombie a gun. Okay, because that's just an unfair advantage. Okay, that's just one thing I'm going to throw about Resident Evil 6. If y'all ever seen any gameplay of that. Okay, enough Resident Evil 6. Back to Borderlands 2. You know, I'm rocking... My friend's rocking the sniper rifle. I'm going to go loot some stuff. You know, we got some health. But, you know, we don't need it because we're bosses. You know, we don't need health. Health is, health is for pussies, my friends. Let's keep going. Okay, apparently... That's a that is a robot with no legs. A lot of use that is. When they push him around in the chair. No offense to any real life people with no legs. <laughs> you can push yourselves around. And just saying, y'all. For the record, I actually have relatives in wheelchairs. So, I mean, you know, they're they're cool. You know, they can handle themselves. But every now and again, you gotta give them a little, little push. You know, it's just like. It's pretty much the circle of life. When something doesn't move itself, you push it. And then, you know, I'm sure my auntie, who's in the wheelchair right now, you know, can really appreciate what I just said. Because she is awesome. She's actually a stand-up comedian. I mean, well, not stand-up, but you know what I mean. Okay, she is a comedian, just not stand-up because, you know, the, the wheelchair. But she's where I get it from. If it wasn't for her... You know, I probably wouldn't be doing commentating or stand-up comedy or anything like that because my auntie is so awesome. So I'm going to take this moment to pay homage to my auntie while my friend shoots some things and melt it with a acidic whatever, the, a sniper rifle that apparently, like, does acidic kind of damage. Which is awesome because my name is Acidic Warwick, his name is Acidic Rain, and we have an acidic gun. We have a trifecta of acid, and we're here to decay your tooth enamel. So let's do this. Alright, getting back into Borderlands 2. With Borderlands 2, y'all, apparently there's another vault with some other treasure hunters in it. And they had the people from the first one giving you missions and pretty much helping you find the second vault. Which apparently, like, the first vault that we found in Borderlands 1, because I actually did take the time to go back and beat Borderlands 1. Now, apparently, in 2, there's a second vault. So the vault in the first one was on the face of the planet, and the vault in this one is at its ass. So we have to go and find the ass of the planet to find the second vault. And apparently, if you didn't, this another thing about guns. This is a unique gun. You can actually throw it at people, and it comes back. Okay, uh, I just learned from my friend Acidic Rain that it's called TDR. It explodes when it hits them, and it costs you like a round of, a round of bullets, w which is cool. Yeah, yeah what, whatever he is saying. I know you probably can't hear him too good, but he is talking some sense. Something I am not very good at. That's why I have him around, because he helps me with that. But apparently, you can be like, dude, TDR gun, I choose you, throw that bitch, and it'll do some damage. You know, if I had a, if I had a Pokemon called TDR, Corrosive Weapon, or whatever it is called, it would be my number one go-to Pokemon. You know, um, you know, as I said, you know, he's, uh, he's Tranquil Sniper. So, you know, he, he rocks the sniper rifle. You know, he also rocks, you know, the Rally's gun. Oh, the Checker's gun, yet again, depending on your location. And, you know, we're just going to go up in this elevator here. And I'm not going to lie, y'all. We're starting to wind down in this video. Simple because I'm starting to run out of things to ramble about. And just because, you know, we're running out of time. So, you know what? Um, I decided to be a real a-hole in this video. And end it right before a boss battle. 
So the only way to see the conclusion is to actually go to my channel and watch the part two. You just got trolled. All right, y'all. I'd like to thank Gamers Beverage and you know, Magnitude X for letting me back on here with some Borderlands 2. I'd like to thank all my fans or the fans that I don't have for watching. Thank you. My name is Acidic Works, aka Subject 18, and deuces. Holy crap, that is a big bird. Thank you.